Hello, it's good to have you again with me. Your health, your life. Today we're going to be talking about COVID-19. I think in the last few cases and in the last few days, everybody's going to agree that the number of deaths we're having from COVID are skyrocketing, they're going up. There's this common saying going around, there were numbers, now there are names, then the names have become family. Clearly that gives an idea of how many people have been affected by this pandemic, COVID-19. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that the distribution of the deaths is it's a, it's a bit peculiar. Uh, when you look at it closely, we've noticed that mostly it's the elderly and people that have chronic illnesses that are dying from COVID-19, mostly. We're also having young people dying, but they're not much. The vast majority are people that are elderly and people that have chronic illnesses. What do we mean by chronic illnesses? Chronic simply means something that has been long-standing over a period of time. Examples of chronic illnesses include diabetes, hypertension, and HIV and AIDS. So it has been found that people that are diabetic and hypertensive are more likely to die from COVID-19. People with HIV and AIDS are also at a high risk of dying from COVID-19. Now you may be wondering, why is that so? Well, because these diseases in the long run, they weaken your immune system. And that's the only thing that keeps you alive when you have COVID-19. As it is now, there is no specific drug targeting the virus itself. There isn't. So the drugs that we usually give in the hospital for somebody who is very sick from COVID-19 are just there to keep the person alive long enough for their immune system to kick in and fight off the virus. That is why some patients are put on oxygen. We also cover them on antibiotics just to cover any other infections they may also have at the same time. We also give them vitamins just to boost their immunity because at the end of the day, COVID-19 is something your immune system has to fight on its own. So what is the implication of what we're saying? Well, because of the distribution of deaths, we've seen that people have become lax. We have become lax. Most of the young people don't want to wear masks anymore because they don't think that COVID is affecting them. Well, the mask isn't only there to protect you, it's also there to protect the next person. So it's very easy for a young person to get COVID-19 and have it, but they won't have any symptoms. They go home and then they infect their father or grandfather or grandmother. And they are the ones that are going to pay the price of death because their immune system is already on the lower side. So when we tell people to mask up, it's not just for your safety, it's also for the safety of the person next to you. I hope that has helped to answer some of the questions you may have been wondering. Why are only certain people dying? Why is it mostly people of the elderly? Why is it mostly people with diabetes or hypertension or HIV and AIDS? Because COVID-19 has to be fought by your immune system. If you like this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to press the notification button so that each time we post a video, you will be notified. Thank you very much for listening and have a lovely day.